Hello and greetings from Iceland, but here we go again, big news today, and the earthquake graph from the Reykjanes Peninsula should tell it all, but we had 200 earthquakes last night, and 700 in total for the last 24 hours. The biggest one measured 3.7, so it could be felt in a capital, like the one we had yesterday, measuring 3.5, and they just keep on coming, and according to our experts, they say that a new chapter in this new history book about the geology of Iceland is beginning, which is no surprise because we have been told for the whole time that this unrest by the capital will plague the nation for the next 200 years, and then we will get another 800 years of peace, like we had until last March. And we are now in a very similar situation as before the eruption that just faded out 10 days ago, or with this very powerful magma intrusion raising questions about new eruption that seems to be on the way. So let's move on to details, what we know and what we wish we knew. Scientists say that despite the Keltingadalur eruption, it's still all this pressure down there. So again, this is not the typical magma chamber that we see under most Icelandic volcanoes, this is directly from the mantle. And when we look at the earthquake locations by Mount Kellir, it is the same place where we got those earthquakes before the Geltingadalir eruption, and we did then expect that the eruption would come up by Mount Kellir. That didn't happen, but we did notice that uh, this dike was forming under there at a two kilometer depth, and it broke its way through southwest almost all the way to the coast, and finally the eruption came up in Geltingadalir. So what will happen now is the big question. The earthquake started at 6-7 km depth this time, and I just noticed that many of them take place at 5 km depth now, so this is in a way like watching a disaster movie, it's unbelievable, but here is a 3D view of what's going on under there, and I'm leaving a link to this site that displays earthquakes in 3D, but I want to mention what options are on the table now. First we have the classic one, the magma will solidify, like happens with most magma intrusions. We get them all the time here in Iceland. But in this case, this is just way off, especially since we had an eruption going on for six months, and most likely from this same source. So I think that many of us don't expect this to fade out or cool down. And then we have the next question. Is this perhaps just a blocked channel, the same channel that was feeding the Geltingadalir volcano and caused it to stop? In that case, we might just see Geltingadalir eruption uh, wake up again, and that would be the best option, not just for the tourist industry, but uh, all of us here in Iceland, because the third option is a new eruption, even closer to the city, and uh, it is close enough already. But to make things uh, clear, Mount Keller is the worst case scenario as for closeness to the city, and uh, this photo explains it well. The lines mark the location of the dike that formed under there in March, and eruptions from uh, Mount Faradalsjall, they don't get any closer to the city than uh, Mount Kellir. And eruptions around here, they are not explosive, but it is the lava that worries us. So let's say that we have an eruption close to Kellir, which is by the way a mountain that was formed under glacier during ice age, like so many other formations on the peninsula. But in that case, we are talking about that the landscape is sloping to north, which tells us only one thing. The lava would close the Reykjanes Peninsula Highway, where over 20,000 people live, and it is also where the Keflavik International Airport is located, making this the busiest highway in Iceland, but we still have the south coast road though, but it's uh, far from handling all that traffic. So this could look better, but uh, I have more content coming up about this, like a new earthquake time-lapse I just made, aerial footage, and uh, some other tools that I can use to predict the path of the lava. I will of course provide you with all the necessary links that you might find useful, and today you will not just get the 3D view, I am linking to uh, webcams that are up and running, pointing at the Mount Keller, and one of them is a thermal cam. I do suspect though that the state broadcasting service uh, that operates the webcams by Geltingadalur Volcano will place a new one by Mount Keller soon. 
And finally, I want to remind you that this is only one of the six volcanic systems on the peninsula that's giving us hard time now. And this one, Mount Faradalsfjall, it is really not the worst one when it comes to the city, just as I've mentioned in some of my older videos. But I am still gathering footage, just got myself a drone to cover those volcanic systems even better. After all, I have been getting a lot of practice in this. Scientists say that my drone will be busy for the next 200 years. So if you have not subscribed, please consider to do so in order to get the latest news. And of course stories of the life in Iceland around our volcanoes and other features of our spectacular nature. And with that I am sending you best regards from our exciting volcano island.